All right, so this is the entrance here, right along the back, which is cool. And uh, I should have enough headroom to get in here. But this is neat. I feel like I'm walking into like the Keebler Elves house or something. <laughs> I gotta duck a little to get in. Oh, this is really neat. I love this. It's all wood. I love like log cabins and stuff. And look, you've got just wood trim everywhere in here. So oh, this is gonna be fun to look through. Good morning, Daisy. What did you catch? <laughs> You've got narwhal? <laughs> you got narwhal, Daisy? You're so funny. What are we gonna do today? Well, we're gonna go out and go hunt for some treasures. That's me and Mrs. Primetime. That is, little Miss Primetime is gonna be going along with Mrs. Primetime, but we'll be dividing and conquering once again, just like we did yesterday. But this time, we don't have to come home uh, early for anything, but you and Narwhal are going to guard the treasures, all right? <laughs> You're so funny. That is a very intimidating look, Daisy, so, you know, if anyone thinks of, you know, break it in and guard the treasures, they got to not only face you, but Narwhal, too. That looks pretty deadly. All right, Daisy, we'll check in with you later and uh, see how things, see how things are going. All right, bye, Daisy. All right, here's our first one of the day. I love this, Squirtle, the turtle. <laughs> I love Pokemon plush, especially the big ones like this. Very, yeah, very cool. I'm definitely gonna get this. Just a dollar too, even better. All right, and over here I found this cast iron fire truck, which is interesting because it's mounted onto this hanging wall plaque. That's interesting. Is there anything you know about this fire truck and how it got? My dad. my dad had a lot of antiques. So um, I figured someone custom mounted it onto the yeah. wall. Yeah, I don't like know that. exactly the history behind yeah. it. I just know it's like antique-ish because my yeah. we tried to sell it last year at my sale. Okay. But yeah, that was my dad's. And all right. Yeah, he passed in December. Oh, I'm he sorry. was 86. That's okay, but he oh. had a lot of uh, all this oh, wow. stuff is his. <laughs> oh wow! Except the Pokemon, I'm sure. Exactly. No, that's, that's not, not his, his, right? <laughs> that's not his. <laughs> All right, I'll get it. Thanks. All right, I don't know what it is with me starting off these garage sale treasure hunts with some uh, kind of character, whether it was the last one where we started off with the Jesus bobblehead, this time Squirtle the turtle. Uh, and over the years, this has happened many times as well. I don't know. It's just kind of like the mermaids. These uh, different kind of characters just seem to follow me around no matter where I go. Will you calm down? <laughs> Jeez. Now, Squirtle the Turtle, I can't believe I keep saying that, but it is actually one of the most popular Pokemon characters around. So even if you're, even if you're not into Pokemon trading cards, which I've shown in the past as well, it just shows why it's good to know the characters because you might find them on shirts, you might find them in plush form and stuff like that. In fact, I actually just sold a plush Pokemon, not quite as big as this, but almost for like $35, $37 or something like that. I'll, I'll flash it up on the screen, but um, yeah, just be on the lookout for these things. And that fire truck, uh, that was cool. That was really awesome. So good way to start the day. And uh, let's go find some more treasures. All right, buddy? Jeez. <laughs> oh, All right, now this is very interesting. If you remember, uh, not too long ago, I went to an estate sale at this very house. This is the one where I got in and I got that dog print, the art print for Mrs. Primetime. I think this is it. This is what she wanted. Hmm, let's go check it out. I never did that before. A garage sale at a place that I just went to an estate sale at. Does not look like there's too much here, but maybe there's stuff in the garage. No way. Is this, is this really signed by Pacquiao and Mayweather? can't be that's got to be a print signature huh wow I'm just curious how much you have on this because I don't really care about the plastic part I really just interested in the poster oh yeah no yeah I mean, like, five bucks nothing crazy so um I could, you can honestly you can take the plastic part and throw it away I mean, yeah I'd probably just pop it out yeah it's actually super easy yeah you just like yeah. lift it off yeah okay do that, but... all right all right would you do three on it? Sure. Yeah. All right, we'll do it for three, thanks. Absolutely. All right, so there's also a couple of t-shirts here that I like. 
for just a dollar a piece. This one really appeals to me. I've mentioned how I'm a big NBA fan, and this is the big three, Chris Bosh, LeBron James, and Dwayne Wade. Uh, they've won the championship with the Miami Heat before, and the Miami Heat are actually doing good in the playoffs. They just knocked off the number one seed, Milwaukee. They're playing the Knicks at the time I'm filming this. And so, you know, stuff like this becomes retro pretty quickly. And I like how it has kind of a retro pixelated look to it. I can't find another one uh, online, so uh, this is a good one uh, to get. And then for the comic fans out there, you really can't go wrong with an Infinity Gauntlet shirt for just uh, a dollar. This is something that would be worn by Thanos. You've got the Infinity Gems in there. This is really cool. Size is large. I'd rather it be extra large, but uh, it'll do. Same with this one. Wow, what do you know? That is a first. A garage sale from a former estate sale, and it paid off. Different owners. Um, I just thought it was interesting that last time with Mrs. Primetime, we got the dog print, and then this time we got this poster print. So, you know, different items, but still similar. You know, something, you know, big, long, vertical, that... <laughs> <laughs> that kind of thing. So um, we will uh, just pop this out of the frame and then just roll it up. Uh, going right on is about 25 bucks, which is why I wanted to get it for three. So uh, happy. That's a really cool piece. All right. So I just finished hitting up all the houses that had garage sales in those developments I went to in the prior video, but the prior video was done on a Friday. And so this one's done on a Saturday. Sometimes that happens in community garage sales where uh, people will set up uh, on a Saturday, but not on a Friday because they're at work. So now that we're out of there, um, I'm just traveling around to some random spots. So I just found a garage sale here off of this busy road. And so let's go check it out. Nice view from across the way, by the way, and circle around and head up here. Oh, they got a barn down here. This is pretty cool. Well, unfortunately, it's mostly a bunch of big, giant tools, so I won't be getting any of that. Although, there are some Hess trucks here. No interest in those. Uh, and I can guarantee you that that sign is not for sale. <laughs> hey, prime time. I bet if you asked him nicely, he'd let you take me home with you. Well, um, I guess it wouldn't hurt to at least ask. Wow, really? All right, so one dollar. I'll, I'll buy that for a dollar. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I got it. It doesn't hurt to ask, or maybe it will hurt to ask because you're not gonna believe this. Literally just pulled up in front of me, Mrs. Primetime. Just completely random. She's literally right there. So now I gotta show, show her what I got. Oh my God. All right, well, I'll have to show her later because Mrs. Primetime was driving off to another garage sale right when I was uh, driving up behind her. So I did call her on the phone and let her know and she was actually excited about the find. So she's seen me sell these types of posters before. And if you've come to any of my comic shows, uh, you know what I'm talking about that, you know, we do sell uh, lots of things related to the lovely ladies. They're very profitable for us. And uh, there's gonna be someone who uh, works in a firehouse, for example, who's going to want this poster. It does have uh, a little bit of wear to it. There's a hole on the top and there's some a warping to it and some color fading, but the main part of the image is good. It'll frame up nice. This doesn't have the glass on it anymore, which is how it got some of that wear to it. Uh, but uh, very excited about this find. It just goes to show it doesn't hurt to ask. All right, now the garage sales were fun, but I have to tell you, I've been itching to go to an estate sale that happens to be one right behind me. Now this sale ran all day on Friday and it started this morning at 9 a.m. It's noon, we've got a couple hours left. Let's head on in and see what we can find. All right, so this is the entrance here, right along the back, which is cool. And uh, I should have enough headroom to get in here. But this is neat, I feel like I'm walking into like the Keebler Elves house or something. <laughs> I gotta duck a little to get in. Oh, this is really neat. I love this. It's all wood. I love like log cabins and stuff. And look, you've got just wood trim everywhere in here. So oh, this is gonna be fun to look through. 
All right, so this is the first thing I came across. I love anything rooster, as you know, and this is metal. I like the welcome sign on it. This is gonna look good in someone's home or on someone's door. Uh, price here is $2, but I just found out that anything $200 or less today is half off. So, sounds good to me. We'll grab this and put it in the box. All right, so, you know, sometimes with wood homes like this, you have to be careful because things could camouflage easily. And so something like this could get missed, but I like this. It's nice turtle art. It's not gonna cost much. I mean, if that rooster cost two bucks, this won't cost much at all. Plus it's half off day. So I'm definitely gonna grab this. And so I like this. Starting off with some nice animal items. All right, so this is interesting. I've been trying to get into art more. And so we're actually starting off with some nice pieces here that I like. This one here uh, looks like it's been set inside the frame. It looks like it's an original piece of art. Uh, so does this one here. This one has a price of $10 on, so that'll be half off. So we just pop that out. Uh, this one here on the back, it looks like that this was obtained through an auction at some place. So I'd imagine it would be less than this because it's smaller. So we could pick these up at a good price and see what we could do with flipping these. So every year I try to get into a new niche. And so this year I'm trying to get into art a little bit more. All right, so moving on to over here, uh, this, oh my gosh, look at the size of that wasp. My gosh, I wanna mess with that that bad boy right there. Wow. All right, but anyway, um, this gnome Halloween bat plush, I'm gonna just need to hit this with a lint brush, but it will clean up nicely. You gotta look past this stuff. Uh, it will probably cost like a buck or so, but you know, should be able to flip it for around 22. Let me get away from that wasp. Um, now, it's interesting, Melissa and Doug's stuff used to go for a fortune. Nowadays, it's very hard to get rid of, even sealed. I wouldn't even pick this up for five bucks. So, you know, if you have kids or something, it would make sense, you know, maybe to just pick it up at a place like this. But for resale purposes, no, I'm passing and I'm getting away from that wasp. All right, so half price off sales are a good opportunity to experiment in some areas that you you know, haven't done much with before. And so this is a good opportunity for me to pick up a few of these Catawba pottery pieces. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. But you know, this would be five, this would be five, and this would be 750. So this is a wood carving and these are ceramic pieces. So I'm gonna pick these up and you know, we'll give it a whirl, give it a try. Um, at worst, you know, maybe I break even on it, but you know, I think I should do good on them. So let's pick them up. Let me know if you know something you know, more about these, fill me in in the comments. All right, so moving into here, we have a table with a lot of different items on it, a lot of folk art. So I'm gonna throw this out to all of you watching. What would you have picked up here? So we're gonna just do a nice pan over. You can mention in the comments, like, you know, you just put the time right now and what exactly you would have picked up, if any. Uh, remember, it's all half off. So this one might be neat to pick up because it's an elephant and $5. It's a nice wood carving. I like this. That's a nice one. I think partly you have to go by what you gravitate towards, what you like naturally. So there's some more stuff over here. There's some masks and stuff. Some of it's wood carving. Some of it's uh, ceramic. Let's see what else we've got here. Um, you know, some of it, you know, looks like it's clay. So, you know, and then again, there's some overproduced pieces, like you've got a Marshall's piece right there as well. Here's the other side of it. If you want to take a look. So definitely you get the elephant. I'll think on some of the others, but again, let me know. This one I'm passing on because, again, I, you know, I really try to pass up on anything that could be considered black Americana because eBay really frowns on it. So I'm going to leave this here. It says Mambo on the side. So I don't get a good feeling about this one. I'm going to leave this one here. 
Now these, I don't think I could go wrong with these because it's just gonna be three bucks a piece. It says it was handcrafted in the Ivory Coast in West Africa. So I think I'm gonna get that one. I'm gonna get this one, same thing. And this one's just, eh, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit wider actually. So I'll grab all three of these. So I'll add those to the box. All right, now this one here I was looking at, it's like a fringed edge rug mat. It's 45 though, and I'm half off. I am just not sure, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna take a, a little bit more of a risk on, which would be this one here. I like this, it slides open, and you can see that you could hold stuff inside of it. So that's definitely pretty neat. If we flip it around to the other side, one of the other things you see is that the original price on it was 124 then it went on sale for 85 then here they tried selling it for 40 so now it'll be 20 and it's made in alaska so i think we're gonna go with this one this will be one i'll, I'll pay up more for that reason you know, try to have some logic as to you know why you're paying up a little more for some of the stuff if it's an area you're not familiar with i like that it has a sticker on it and also has a little engraving it too so we'll pick this one up if you know more about it let me know this definitely looks like a like to me it looks like a bird but um very cool so let's put this in here all right what do you think should i pick this up and put it in the refrigerator for mrs prime time <laughs> i don't think she would appreciate it very much he's looking like he wants to go home with me and go in the refrigerator but sorry buddy i'm gonna have to leave you here uh, maybe, you know, in another three years, we'll do that uh, joke again, but uh, I don't want to get in more trouble. <laughs> All right, that's the room I was just in. That's the first room I was in uh, over there, just to give you a, you know, kind of an orientation to it. And then this is the next room. So there's some more uh, art pieces displayed on the table here. Um, this is not one that sells well. That's why it's still sitting here and people just know that. This one uh, does have a crack uh, in the corner, so uh, you can see it right over here, so definitely pass on that, you know. Uh, then there's some more pieces over here, but you know, at this point, you know, again, I'm still just looking for something that speaks to me, that appeals to me. Uh, this is awesome, I love fish, and this looks like some giant fish jumping out of the water. I like how it, attaches uh, to the bottom there like that. There's a little peg that goes in and for only two bucks, I don't think you can miss with that one. So yeah, I'm gonna grab this one and put it in the box. Here, fishy, fishy. All right, now the reason why this one is here is because you could see the top is cracked. So you gotta be careful of that. Otherwise that would be an incredible deal to get a nutcracker for you know, $1.50. Uh, these I'm kind of on the fence on, but I think I'm gonna pass because of the chip here. So, and this one here, I normally pick up, you know, wood carvings like this, especially ones that they look like they could have like a religious element to it, but it looks like something has been broken off of the top here because the hands just look like they're, they're gone. I know he has big sleeves and stuff, but I think something has been chipped off there because that's too irregular so i'm gonna leave that here you really have to look these things over carefully it's very important all right now this piece next to it um has an interesting scene on it, it looks like a man courting a woman it's only three dollars it has like a gold tone to it it's got a you know, nice red velvet look inside i don't think you can mess on this it works uh, great so it's definitely vintage so I'm going to pick this one up. Maybe Mrs. Primetime could use this for one of her jewelry shows. We always think of each other when we go out sourcing. It's cool. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not scooping up all of the art, even though it's half off, uh, it's because, again, it's a newer area for me. And, you know, I don't want to go crazy, you know, right off the bat when it's something newer. And I really want to just more go towards items that... You know i personally really enjoy or like because this way if it doesn't sell then at least you know i could look at it and enjoy it so 
Yeah, that's my general tip and suggestion on that. Unless you have knowledge, like for example, you know, you know this artist or something and you know that this is something that's gonna sell well, even if you don't like it, then you'd pick it up. All right, so going back to these three pieces, one of the things you can do is you could look up the artist. And a lot of times you can make out the artist's name, you know, right from the a piece itself. So you could see here it says Juan Cruz, and over here it says Anne Margaret Childress. Now, from what I'm able to find, these appear to be local artists. I don't see anything uh, by them in terms of eBay sold comps or anything in terms of current listings that would you know, go for a lot of money and nothing significant on a Google search. So this one here though is different. This one says George Schwartz. Now you'd have to tilt it to the side to see it you know, exactly the way you want to read it. And I'll take this off in a moment and show you something. Uh, but there is a listing of one of his pieces of art right now for $3.75 on eBay. Now it's not this one, but that brings me to the next tip is to also look on the back of the frame. So if you look at the back of this frame, you don't see anything. And we'll put it back in a second, but show you something else. Let's look at the back at this frame and we just see the name, but nothing else. Let's take this one off and see what we find. Now this is, I could tell you, it's a much sturdier, much more professional frame, which is a, a better indicator that you could have something of value. We'll move it over here and look on the back. Look at this. It says Artisan's Townhouse. So this came from some kind of art store. And here you've got the name George Schwartz. It tells you the title. It tells you the medium, oil, oil. Now it's called, it's called Wild Horses, made in September 2012. And look at that. The price was $450, $450. So now it's $10. And based on all that, and you can see, like when you get up close like that, look at that. You can tell the original paint and everything. This is really cool. So this is a great example on how to try to find something to, you know, uh, invest into with minimal risk based on, you know, information that you've been able to find out through research and just by exploring the item. A lot of times there's lots of clues on it. So we're going to, we're going to grab this one. I'm excited about this one. We'll see what happens. All right. Those pieces are back in place. This one's in my box kind of, and let's keep moving that way. All right, here is the next room, and there's some more art on the wall. There's that one with the llamas on it. Actually, I asked Mrs. Primetime if she wants it, because she's a big llamas fan. I thought it looked pretty funny. So we'll see what she says. Uh, then there's some more over here. Um, this is very tempting. These were made in England. It's the Beatles, obviously, but it's missing Ringo. And I just don't know if someone's going to buy him without Ringo. I'm going to guess not because most people are completists. So I'm going to leave it here, although I have to admit I'm, I am torn on it. Um, gosh, I don't. I just can't wrap my mind around someone getting the unless someone doesn't like Ringo. Maybe someone doesn't like Ringo. Hmm. Hmm. I think, I, I have to say, of all the Beatles, I think these three are the most popular. What would you do? Would you get them or would you, would you leave them here? Hmm. You know, maybe worst case scenario and idea is you could sell them individually. So, you know, sell one to a John Lennon fan, sell one to a Paul McCartney fan, you know, for just for example. So I, I think for that reason, I'll, I'll pick them up. All right. All right, let's move from this area to this room over here. And my eyes immediately go up to that top corner. It's very bright and colorful. And the reason I look at the top corner is because this is something that, you know, people will most likely avoid because number one, it's up high. Number two, it's far away, it's in a corner. There's stuff in the way, you've got a saw you've got all these different barrier items. So most people just walk away from it. And that's why it's still sitting here because this is a really, really cool piece. It's really bright and colorful, as I mentioned. And you've got animals in it. You've got this nice 
family scene or community village scene. You've got a name on it, Mercado. Uh, that's a, a popular uh, name. So this is definitely going to be something that someone's interested in. I'm going to take this right off of here. Just be careful uh, not to rip it. In fact, let me do that with two hands instead of one. And we're going to pick this piece up. I like how it, it comes out. It's like has like a 3D element to it. All right. So let me tell you another reason why this is still here. This piece came off easily, but this piece here, it's the fabric is partly caught onto the nail. So you really cannot get it out even with two hands. So what I need to do, I need to get this nail out somehow. Uh, it's not loose, it's really nailed in there. So I'm gonna have to get like a hammer or something and, and get this out of here. All right, so as you can see, I got it off. Sometimes you have to be resourceful. Uh, there's the nail right there. Um, I just found this, they didn't have a hammer around. So I just took this piece right here. I wedged it up against the nail and it popped right out. So, you know, use what you have around you. This is great. And now we could go put this in the box. All right, there is this little seating area uh, off one of the rooms here. The main road that I was on before is right behind me. But we're gonna head back in the house. We just finished the first floor and now we're gonna head upstairs. All right, so I do have to duck to get up these <laughs> stairs. So uh, that's one telltale sign that the house is old. Uh, there's a cool painting here that greets you as you go up. It is mostly snowy here in Syracuse. Um, all right, so I already put my box in one of these rooms. I just wanted to show you. It looks like we only have two rooms to look at, this one and this one here. So let's take a look at this one first. All right, let's see what we got. All right, I'm not really seeing anything here that's interesting me to pick up. A lot of old clothes. Uh, there is some art in here, but it is pretty beat up and damaged. So, uh, you know, just some miscellaneous pieces here, but nothing that really grabs my eye or attention for resale. Some of it's broken. You know, no one's gonna want that old Scrabble. So, um, and even, you know, over here, there's some miscellaneous tchotchkes items some glass pieces, but again, nothing that really jumps out to me to pick up. I mean, this is pretty nice, but you could see here it's broken right off top. So again, you gotta pay attention to details with anything that could be broken or cracked. All right, we'll head on to the next room. All right, so you can see there's a lot of stuff that's spread out in this room on the bed. Uh, one of the things that jumped out to me is this here, cause I don't know, I seem to have Mickey and Minnie Mouse radar for things and this is a cool piece uh, you can see it's halloween related it's gonna cost five dollars let's open it up and see what the whole scene looks like all right i love this it's awesome you've got mickey dressed up as frankenstein he's holding both of the trick-or-treat pals for Minnie. he's green colored you got the full moon going on the bat mini looks awesome as well so actually i don't know maybe the price is two dollars so it would be $1 because there's a $10 sticker on it too. So I'll have to ask when I check out how much this actually costs. So let's find out. So yeah, I was just curious because it has two stickers on it. There's a $10 sticker and a $2 sticker. Did you know how much this thing costs? It was 10. It was 10. So okay, so it'd be, it would five. be five. Okay, cool. All right, no problem. All right, so I think I'm gonna head out at this point. Uh, mostly what I'm seeing in here are clothes and a lot of it's like damage like this with like you know strings coming loose or deep set stains and stuff so uh, there's some overproduced marshall's clothing as well and a lot of the other pieces are just you know too big for what i would want like those big giant lamps and stuff i don't want that art piece is cool but i think i've had my fill of the art today to experiment with and i'm happy overall with how we did so let's go check out and that's our box and we'll get the final price all right, folks, all done. Total price for everything there, $85. That's the half off price. So, you know, as I've shown many, many times, 
it can pay to go on the second day, even towards the end of the sale. So there were great deals to be uh, had today. So a uh, big shout out, by the way, and thanks to the person who runs this estate sale company, John. I really appreciate you. Thank you for allowing me to film in the house. He actually watches the channel and enjoys the videos and allows me to film in the sales as long as I just let him know. So I uh, really, really appreciate that. I'm sure many of the viewers of the channel are appreciative of that as well. Some might even say that to you uh, in the comment section if you check. So I'm gonna go back to Primetime Treasure Headquarters, process this stuff. We'll check in with Daisy one more time and then uh, I'll see you back the next one, everyone. All right, let's go see what Daisy's up to. Hey, Daisy. All right, now, Daisy, we got to go and show what Mrs. Primetime found today because she got some great stuff. Here's a quick little preview of some things on the table. Wait till you see the posters she got. They are amazing. Uh, some jewelry, as I showed you, and also some clothing. So let's start with the clothes. All right, so Mrs. Primetime, what a great pick here for all of you NFL fans. This is a Philadelphia Eagles shirt, and you can see the Eagles uh, written right there, and you've got the logo on the back. So if you or someone you know is a Philly Eagles fan and want a nice button down, just let us know. That goes for anything you see today. You could always reach out to us uh, in the comments or at primetimetreasure at gmail.com. This is another good example right here, this great Jameson shirt. This is primetime loaded up, just a buck a shirt. Look at that on the back. Amazing, it's nice silky feel to it. Uh, this one is a 3XL, and I'm not sure on this one, but it looks to be about the same. I think it's, yeah, it is a 3XL. Okay, this one here says Bamboo K, and it's got uh, Santa Claus in this uh, pouch here. So there is a, a pouch, and you open it up, and there we've got Santa peeking out. So this would be something we'd list a little bit later on during the year, probably around like August or so, uh, to capture more of the Christmas shoppers. And then, um, you know, being local to Syracuse, it's hard to resist getting this nice Syracuse jersey number 10. So, very cool, put this one over here. So that's what we did, uh, dollar a piece. Great job, Mrs. Prime Thompson. So now let me show you what is on the table. All right, so Mrs. Primetime with an amazing poster haul. Wait till you see these. It is hard to find old Kobe Bryant stuff. Even new Kobe Bryant stuff is hard to find. And look at his facial reaction on this one. I mean, that is credible. Really captures his intensity and emotion. Uh, funny she found this, especially after in the, you know the prior video. You remember I got the Shaquille O'Neal. A Lakers Trapper Keeper. So then she got this from 1998. Absolutely awesome. So that's the first one. Now we pop these out of the um, frames anyway. So, you know, that one being outside doesn't matter. This one has Shaq and Kobe on it, which is also incredible. And the condition is, is perfect. I mean, it's been protected very well uh, in the frame. Now, Okay, I'm actually next to, um, let's see here, what do we got here? Okay, no, there's more. We got uh, another one, Shaquille O'Neal, and, you know, being an NBA fan, I can tell you, that he is right there dunking over um, Dikembe Mutombo. Well, not dunking over, but he's shooting over uh, Dikembe Mutombo. So that's a, a cool one, too, because you have two incredible big men uh, in this one. And then over here, look at this, Michael Jordan, when he was on the Wizards, Super cool, Mrs. Primetime find a Michael Jordan, Kobe, and Shaq. It's crazy. Now, this was what she was originally targeting, but then when she made this overall deal, the guy's wife came out and said to throw in two other posters as part of the deal. So, Mrs. Primetime coming home with the J-Lo poster. Look at that, Mrs. Primetime. I didn't source this. Mrs. PT did, so big shout outs, big ups to Mrs. Primetime in the comments. And then here is the other one. So uh, if any fellows out there want any of the JLo posters, reach out to me and let me know. And um, terrific job. So what did she get for all, how much did she pay for all the posters? So we got three, four, five, and six posters total ten dollars 
for everything. Mrs. Primetime's an amazing negotiator. And so she crushed it on these posters. I am very, very happy with those. That's amazing. Uh, then she got this lot of uh, crafting jewelry. Now, not everything in here is like broken or damaged. There's plenty of pieces that are uh, intact and there's nothing wrong with, but the person just you know, threw them in here like this one with the uh, zebras is nice. And so uh, total for everything in here is five bucks. So Miss Primetime will pick out select pieces and sell them. And then, you know, she can make her own craft lot from here. Uh, so down here, look at all of these jewelry pieces right here. I won't describe each one. You know, you could pretty much figure out yourself what you are looking at, but lots of different colors, lots of different types, brooches, necklaces, all different types of styles, rings, everything here, 10 bucks. So great job on that one for Miss Primetime. This here is a nice little assortment of brooches. Uh, nice bling bling over here, five bucks. You got all the brooches for. So you could do really well sourcing jewelry out there. Uh, this was 50 cents. Uh, you got this uh, brooch here and then there's another piece here with a, looks like an eagle hanging down. And then this up here was just a dollar. All these assorted pieces. And basically all of it came in this one box and the person said, you can have everything for a dollar. Uh, so the original story actually was Mrs. Primetime pulled this one piece out and asked how much this was. And a person said 50 cents and then said, where'd you get that from? She said, in the box. And the person said she'd do the whole box for a dollar. So this is uh, something Mrs. Primetime bought just for herself, you know, a little succulent. So she likes this. That's not something she's gonna sell, it's just for her. And then this was something, I actually never played this game. If you played it, let us know in the comments, but Mrs. Primetime played this when she was uh, younger and it's a uh, booby trap. Um, she looked it up or, and my daughter did. Apparently it sells for around 30 bucks or so, uh, but she's excited about this. Got it for just a dollar, a uh, nice piece and brings back some memories for her. So shout out to all you who are uh, fans of booby trap. <laughs> all right, so overall, Awesome job, Mrs. Primetime. Let us know what your favorite Mrs. Primetime find was today. Hey, Daisy. How was your day? <laughs> it's good. You're back in your spot, I see. Well, you sure are racking up a lot of comments in the videos, and you are getting lots of belly rubs and chin scratches. So if you want me to give one to Daisy, just put a comment in, and I will definitely pass it along to her. Till the next one, everyone. Take care.